Hi, today I want to answer the question, what are the two major things that a DRE must rule out before they can find that you're impaired by a drug in New York State? Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney located in beautiful Ithaca, New York. My practice concentrates, focuses on traffic-related offenses, specifically DW cases, DWI, DWAI drugs. You know, with DWAI drug cases, uh, we have police in each of the counties now, and they're becoming these DREs, drug recognition evaluators. Uh, they sometimes like to be called experts. I just like to say they're drug recognition evaluators, DREs. Uh, and they do a DRE exam. So what's in the importance of the DRE? Uh, if they don't have a blood test and they don't have drugs in the car, they're going to have to prove using a DRE, they can use this in New York State, that you're under the influence of some other drug other than alcohol. So the primary purpose of the DRE is that they rule out two major things. Number one is they have to rule out alcohol as the sole cause, sole cause of impairment or impaired driving. That's number one. Secondly, they must rule out medical conditions, any medical conditions, whether it's diabetes or arthritis or anything else that might, might mimic impairment or impaired type of driving. So those are the two things that they must rule out before they're going to get into their DRE. Rule out alcohol, rule out medical conditions uh, before they're going to start determining which category of drugs that they believe that you are under the influence and then slash impaired by, that's the big crucial difference, impaired by the drug, not just under the influence of the drug, but impaired by the drug, impairing your ability to drive a car. If you have questions about your DWAI drugs, DWI, upstate region, New York State, the Finger Lakes, you gotta give me a call, shoot me an email, be more than happy to discuss it with you. And thanks for watching this video.